Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Martin Aircraft Company goes out of business, EAA opposes cap on veteran flight training benefits, and Air Trophy heads to Greenland. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. The Martin Aircraft Company has closed its doors, put its warehouse up for lease, and liquidation of their assets will be completed later this year. Once called one of the world's top 50 most anticipated inventions by Time Magazine, the New Zealand company burned through more than $50 million of its investors' money. Their jetpack, which used a pair of ducted fans to provide lift and thrust, was overshadowed by nearly 300 companies also developing personal EVTOL aircraft. Martin acted as a consultant to some of those companies and even encouraged Google co-founder Larry Page to test Cora, a two-seater flying taxi in New Zealand. The company underwent a restructuring last year, which left them with just three employees on a casual employment basis. A repayment of a $10 million loan to Kyongchi Science, who holds controlling interest in Martin Aircraft Company, will take precedent over payments to other creditors. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Let's take a look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry in today's trip around the patch. Wings Over the Rockies has announced the full schedule for Apollo Palooza. The event starts on July 13th and ends on the 20th and celebrates the 50th anniversary of the moon landing and future human space exploration. To see a full list of events or to purchase tickets, head over to wingsmuseum.org. China's Jianda Aviation Town signed seven general aviation deals in the first quarter of 2019 attracting 2.5 billion yuan of investment. The once industrial town in Hangzhou is transforming itself into a new growth engine. With more than 17 aviation projects in the works, totaling 45.85 billion yuan in investments. After more than seven years of training F-35C pilots, sailors, and marines, Strike Fighter Squadron 101 Grim Reapers has been deactivated. Almost 200 people, including past and present Grim Reaper pilots, attended Thursday's ceremony at Eglin Air Force Base as the last Grim Reaper F-35C began its journey to Naval Air Station Limor. Grim Reaper origins can be traced back to 1942. Two African-American Navy pilots claim they were subject to racial bias during their trainer with Strike Fighter Squadron 106 after they say they were unfairly dismissed. Vice Admiral DeWolf Miller, commander of Naval Air Forces, found the two men, a Marine Corps captain and a Navy lieutenant, were rightly removed due to substandard performance, even though errors and inconsistencies were found in the grading and ranking process. Miller also found the instructor pilots did not treat the pilots in training with appropriate dignity or respect, and had inappropriate discussions about them on social media. After 16 years and over 90 races, Red Bull has announced their Air Race World Championship will not continue past this year. The final races of this year are on June 15th and 16th in Kazan, Russia, July 13th and 14th in Belaton, Hungary, and September 7th and 8th in Chiba, Japan. 
Red Bull thanked the pilots, teams, partners, host cities, and the Red Bull employees for all the hard work they've done to make these air races memorable and enjoyable. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at SonicsAircraft.com. EAA and 13 other aviation organizations are jointly opposing a bill in the House of Representatives that includes a cap on flight training benefits available to United States military veterans. H.R. 1947 caps payment for flight training programs, meaning U.S. veterans wanting to use their GI benefits to pursue a career as a professional pilot might not have the funds needed to complete training. Other degree programs at public universities and colleges are not being capped in the same way, leading to a disadvantage in flight training. If you would like to read their letter in full, you can find it at EAA.org under News and Publications. Air Trophy is planning the next part of their series of stole competitions in Narza Suet, Greenland. Called the Ryder Cup of Stole Competitions, the event is planned for June 23rd through July 5th. Teams from North America and across Europe will travel to various locations in Greenland to compete. Prepare to Go is organizing the event and says it will not include any of the normal aviation fees, such as landing and parking, and they'll also subsidize the cost of fuel for participating pilots. The company also encourages pilots to continue their journey after the competition, which for Europeans presents the opportunity to fly their planes to Oshkosh for air venture. Teams are limited to 12 aircraft each and registration is open on a first come first serve basis until teams are full. And that's our show for today. Don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you want the latest aviation and aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. Thanks for watching.